Connecting minds, technology, what do they have to do with each other? My name is Sylvester James Gates Jr. and I'm a college professor at the University of Maryland. I do theoretical physics. A theoretical physicist is someone who takes mathematics and tries to tell accurate stories about how nature works. And so for me, the technology is part of the fabric of my day. You're surrounded by information. And this is in fact what the current day's advances in connectivity increase. I wanted to find a magical piece of mathematics that was nevertheless an accurate description of something hidden deep in nature. And now in my 63rd year of life, I may well have done that. We've taken the set of equations that are related to string theory and supersymmetry, and we've created a set of pictures that allow us to manipulate the picture, but simultaneously do both calculus and algebra. We call these pictures adinkras, and in fact, they're my babies. Those are my creations, along with a colleague of mine, Michael Fox. We found things using this approach with technology that I am absolutely sure I would have never seen with just paper and pencil. Today's technology really does connect mind to mind in a way that we have never seen before, and that's what's special and different about it. And that's from how it derives its power. Physics has always been a globalized activity. That means that we have to travel all over the world, and there's a lot of travel in, in my business. Because of connectivity, it doesn't matter where I am in the world, I am connected to my community. You can almost continuously talk to your friends, your colleagues, other people who are involved in creative activities, and in such a way that you all become a powerful network. Something has never existed at this scale in human history. It's the power of connectivity at work. Thank you.